Every campus user has an individual OneDrive account for the storage and sharing of files. When you start a recording in Teams, the meeting will be saved to your recordings folder in OneDrive. If you don't have the O365 homepage bookmarked, the easiest way to get there is to go to the SUNY Potsdam faculty and staff page and select the email button. From O365, select the waffle icon and OneDrive. In addition to the recordings folder, notice the whiteboard folder. You'll have one if you've used the whiteboard or annotation feature in Teams. Select a video from the recordings folder and select the share button. By default, OneDrive files are set to only SUNY Potsdam users can view. To change it, select the link to open settings. Here you can change the link type, you can allow editing, and if you select the Anyone link, you can set an expiration date or require a password. Once you've made your changes, select the Apply button to create a link with the specified settings. Select the Copy button and Share or Post the link. To post the recording in a Brightspace course, do the following. Add a descriptive title to the instructions you're posting. Highlight the title and select the Add Edit Link icon. Paste the link into the link box and select Create. Instead of pasting the link, you may elect to add the video file directly from Brightspace. Just be aware that the link will use default settings. Select Insert Quick Link from the toolbar. Note that this is a different tool than the Add Link button. Select the OneDrive option and the Continue to OneDrive button. Browse your folders and select a file. Use the Select button to insert the file. <music>